All right, so for today's last section about triangles, um, this is part three. This is, this is actually a pretty easy lesson, but I've had some kids struggling with it so far. And I think it's because they don't know how to name sides and angles. Okay, so real quickly, I want to look at that. All right, if this is my triangle, we would say this is triangle ABC. We always use the uh, angles to name it. So we would say this is triangle ABC. The angles, you just use one um, one letter. This is angle A, this is angle B, and this is angle C. So we got angle A, angle B, and angle C. The sides is what seems to be throwing some of my kids off, okay? For a side, you need two letters. So for example, this side right here, this side starts and ends with A and C. So we would call it side AC, or you could call it CA. So this is one side. This side right here starts and ends at A and B. So we would say this side right here, this side, is side AB. Or you could do BA. And then the last one, the last side here from B to C, we would call that side BC. Okay, so that's just a quick review on how to name your sides and angles because my kids are seeming to struggle with that. All right, so today's main idea, okay, in a triangle, the shortest side will be across from the smallest angle. Okay, that is their relationship. In any triangle, the shortest side will be across from the smallest angle. I'm gonna well explain what, what I mean by across here in just a second. Okay, one other thing. The longest side or the biggest side, however you want to say that, will be across from the biggest angle. or the largest angle. And then that obviously leaves um, your shortest side and your longest side, then you got your middle side or your medium length size. It would be across from the medium sized angle. Okay, so let me draw a triangle here. All right, let's say we have triangle X, Y, Z. And let's say that this angle is um, 100 degrees, this angle is 45 degrees, and then that makes this one 35. Okay, if these are my three angles, it's kind of hard to tell on, these, on this triangle based on uh, just looking at it, which one of them is the shortest side. I can't really tell, maybe you can, but out of these two sides, this side here and this side here, they're pretty close to the same size. But use your angles, okay? So out of these three numbers, my smallest angle would be 35 degrees. So if this is my smallest angle, then my shortest side is gonna be across from it. So if this is my smallest angle, across from it would be this side right here. This side right here is my shortest side. Now again, we would say this is side XY. Okay, so my shortest side is XY. All right, now my biggest angle. Obviously, 100 is my biggest angle. If this is my biggest angle, across from it will be my longest side. So this is my longest side. And you could tell that one based on looks, but based on the angles, 100 degrees is biggest. So across from it, this is my longest side. So we would say X is Z or ZX. Okay, 
Um, sometimes it's hard to tell with your triangles based off of looks. For example, let's say we have one that looks like this. These look all about the same size. I'm going to go X, Y, Z again. Let's say this side is 3 inches. And let's say this side is 3.5 inches. And this one is 3.75 inches. So they're all close to the same, but not quite. Okay, so let's, um, let's take this diagram and let's figure out which angle is the smallest. Actually, let's order the angles in order from smallest to biggest. Ran out of room. Okay, so it's impossible to tell based on the looks. They all look to be about the same. But based on my side lengths, which one of these numbers is the smallest? This one is, right? So if this is my smallest side, it is going to be across from my smallest angle. So across from this side would be angle Y. So my smallest angle would be angle Y. Now, the next biggest side, 3.5 or 3.75, the next biggest would be this one. So, across from it would be angle X. And then that leaves me with my biggest side right here. 3.75 is definitely the biggest. Across from it would be angle Z. So, angle Z would be my biggest angle. <clears throat> Alright, let's see. Let's do just a couple more. P A M. So in this triangle, I'm going to give you the angles. I'm going to say that this one is 82 degrees. Um, this one's going to be 46 degrees. And then the last one, 52 degrees. And what I want to do is I want to find the longest side. Again, you cannot do it based on looks, okay, because your triangle may not be drawn to scale. So what you want to do is you want to identify, if I want to know my longest side, it helps to know my biggest angle. Well, out of these three, my biggest angle would be this one, right? So if that's my biggest angle, my longest side will be across from it. So directly across from it would be down here, this side here. Well, this side starts and ends at P and M. So we would say my longest side is P M. How about my shortest side? Well, if I want to know which side is the shortest, find which angle is the smallest. Obviously, this is my smallest angle, right? So across from it would be my shortest side. The question is, what's the name of this side? Well, it starts and ends at A and P, so we would say this is AP or PA. All right, look at this one. Let's say this angle is 22 degrees, and this angle is also 22 degrees, and this angle is 136 degrees. A, B, C there. And what I want to know on this one is, let's see, which sides are equal? Now, I didn't give you any information about the sides in this diagram. I gave you information about the angles. But we learned yesterday, if you have two base angles that are equal, if two angles are equal, then two sides must be equal. So if this angle and this angle is equal, then that means their sides across from them are also equal. So this side here, we would call this BC. And this side here, we would call it AB are equal. Does that make sense there? Okay, last one. Um, let's just do one more here. Let's say we have a triangle like this, um, 
x, y, and z. Let's say this is 3, this is 4, and this is 5. And what I want to do is I want to, again, order the angles from smallest to biggest. Again, do not do it based on looks, okay? Take your side lengths, okay? If I want to do, know the smallest angle, well, first of all, find your smallest side. Obviously, this is my smallest side right here. Three, that's my smallest side. Across from it would be my smallest angle. So the smallest is angle X. Now, out of these two, this is the next biggest, right? This side here, four, is across from angle Z. And then lastly, my biggest side would be this one, five. So across from it would be angle Y. Angle Y is the biggest. <clears throat> All right. Um, on just real quickly on tomorrow's uh, assignment today, you guys are going to do a kahoot. On tomorrow's assignment, it's kind of a mixture of some of the things that we've been doing. So just to give you a little heads up for this first section, I want you to give both names for the triangles. First, look at the sides and then look at the angles. I've done this one for you. So first of all, it's equilateral because the sides are equal. It's acute because all of the angles are acute. Okay? Um, if you look at number four, all of the sides are different. So we call that a scalene triangle. And then look at your angles. When you have a right angle, that makes it a right triangle. So there, I've done another one for you. You will have two answers for each one of these. First, look at your sides, then look at your angles. On the back side, these last four questions here, this is what we were talking about today. So on number 15, for example, I want you to label the, each side as shortest, medium, or longest. So if you look at this one right here, I want to know which side is the shortest. It's really hard to tell based on looks. So first, if I want to know the shortest side, find the smallest angle. That would be this guy. So, if that's my smallest, then across from it, this would be my shortest. AB would be my shortest side. Okay? That means this one is my biggest. So this guy would be my longest side. And that obviously leaves this one as my medium one. Okay, so now I've done another one for you. Um, if you guys have any questions about this assignment, this, this is Friday's virtual work. If y'all have any questions about this, y'all let me know.